great plant, the Persicaria. So this one's called Red Dragon, and it's sitting in this um, tree stump. It likes wet too, so it's down in the bog, uh, bog so it's down in the bog garden, and people um, asked about it a lot. So more ferns, oh, some epimedium. I want to increase my epimedium game. I don't have that many now. This stick was not here. <laughs> um, I fluffed and cheated with a uh, with a hothouse hydrangea in this pot. This this my friend Christy gave me that that um, hosta. It's the only one I have on the property. There's another fatsia back there. Oh, and there's another trident maple. All right, come on, Beanie. Let's go. So. I just think you ought to see the Kamasi. So here's the bog garden. It's really very new. We've had bad drainage problems here, and there are lots of um, there's lots of drainage gravel and actually plastic conduits under here to take the water from the springs to my stream. And it's working pretty well, but this is a bog garden. In these blank spaces, like here, in just a few weeks, well, by the end of the by the end of the summer, it's just a crazy, very tropical look because there's huge alocasias that are coming, and I can see the little babies. I didn't want to cheat and throw anything in under there, but you know it'll all happen. There's my little um, dwarf river birch. It's called Little King. It'll only get to 15 feet high, and I think I will let it get to 15 feet high. Oh, this is a very cool astilbe called Chocolate Shogun, and I've divided it and stretched it um, a couple of different places. I also have some wonderful and weird farfugium in this bed that they weren't doing particularly anything that day. I mean, these leopard, these leopard bane ones were kind of interesting. But other than that, they, they've barely broken um, dormancy. I think the show is these Camasias. This is a, a, um, a Thalictrum aquilegifolium. Maybe it's Ellen. It'll get really tall. These Camasias are just so great though, right? That was my plant of the week on the podcast. Oh, and over here, it looks like somebody dropped a paper towel, but it's an acanthus, so it's a bear's breeches. It's a variegated type. And here's the stream. And another great big blank spot, because honestly, again, this will be filled with not only the alocasia that'll come, but also um, a bunch of the um, native, um, or what do you call them? You know, big flower, moshiutos, Hibiscus! It'll be hibiscus. Um, I might edit that part out, we'll see. And uh, the chorus, which I have the tall one and the little short one taking up some spot here. Oh, and some iris and sada that my friend Shirley Keith gave me. I can't wait to see that bloom. So this was the disaster of about a month ago when two Leland cypress crushed each other and I thought crushed my, um, mag mag my sweet bag magnolia. The magnolia is fine. And Dos Amigos came and put in these two river birch. These are real river birch. These will get tall. And behind them, four hemlocks. And pray for the hemlocks because they're sitting in kind of wet soil. Hmm. Let's tell the river birch to soak up all the water and we'll see if it works. These weren't really even happening. I mean, maybe they were an inch tall last Sunday, maybe two inches, but it'll be just a wall of canna lilies. They love this boggy spot. And there's Mr. Jefferson. He had a decoration of garland from the, the ladies of Avamala Garden Club who decorated up a storm. And he's sitting at the base of the snag tree, which is dead and collecting insects that, to feed our birds, we hope. And then just, you know, this whole bank was just vinca and ivy and poison ivy when we moved in here. And it's just kind of cool to see the things that I've, you know, it's just kind of a medley of, there's some peonies, lots of regalias, hydrangeas, a few grasses, some irises. It's just better, better and better.